Santos. We begin with the care of migrants who cross the border seeking asylum. It looks like they'll be sheltered in space originally meant for juvenile detention. That's the place Pima County government put together. A replace shelter space the area will lose when the Benedictine Monastery becomes unavailable later this month. Hey, on Nine on your side, Craig Smith is here with details. Craig. Well, what you see here is just one corner of Pima County's juvenile detention center because the county has pushed for alternatives to locking up juveniles. The unit here can be converted to living space for asylum seekers. In January, the developer who bought the Benedictine Monastery agreed to let Catholic Community Services shelter asylum seekers there while he worked to get the site ready to turn into residential housing. That work is ready to begin soon, so the push has been on to find new space. Now Pima County is working to lease three units of the juvenile detention facility to Catholic Community Services. The lease is proposed as $100 per year. The county will ask the federal government to reimburse county expenses. Bishop Edward Weisenberger says the facility is ideal with a kitchen and showers able to support the immigrants. The county and the diocese say the detention center can be adapted to be a welcoming atmosphere for as many as 300 asylum seekers. We want to, to make it warm, to make it welcoming, to make it respectful and a dignified environment for the folks that are going to be joining us there. So we have some aesthetic things that we need to change. Uh, you know, some murals, some vegetation, uh, work on getting the outdoor space so that it's um, a fun place to be and a good place for families to linger. Community Services says most will stay a few days while they make arrangements to travel to families that will host them as their asylum requests are decided. County supervisors will not vote on the lease until August 6th. The diocese says the owner of the monastery will let people continue to stay there until the lease on the new facility is approved. Correct. Thank you.